Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? It is Steve. Welcome to the Little Little Wood Shop and our Sunday evening blog. All right. Well, before we get started, everybody, I told you that uh, right now through the holiday, we're not doing any type of projects. We haven't added anything to the uh, to the free library for download, only because we are a little inundated up here right now with holiday gifts for our clients and what have you. So please bear with us. We will be back on track after the holiday. We've got some wonderful projects coming up that we are going to share with all of you. So please, just if you can hang with me a couple more weeks here while I get through all the craziness, of course, I will very, very much appreciate it. All right. Well, this week I thought we would have a try to have a quick discussion. I'll take it off the blog if I can. And I think this may help out some of you anyways. At least I hope it does. Woodshop Beneficial Financial Paths is the topic today. All right. What do we mean by financial paths? Are we talking about our shop's expenditures each month? What things cost us? No, of course not. What we're talking about are the different ways to plug your shop into making money. The lifeblood of all businesses. I'm going to share with you the steps that I've taken in the last three and a half years to keep our own doors open, okay? We need to make the correct steps in order to make money because we know that the wrong ones ultimately are going to cost us money. We've all made mistakes in life, financial ones. There's no difference in the business world. Below, I'm going to discuss some things with you that I feel you're going to need to have a successful business, okay? First and foremost, you are going to need a web presence on the internet today. There is no better way to be discovered today than with a website. This is going to highlight your business and its services that you offer. Your website is going to have all the pertinent information, or at least these minimals, the very minimals, okay? You're going to have an About You page. Your About You, your About Me page is going to discuss you, your shop, your services, the thing you, things you create, what you're passionate about, and the things you enjoy making, okay? The other thing is going to be, on your website, perhaps you're going to have a portfolio page so you can show off all your beautiful work. Try to make sense, all right? Next thing is, and most importantly, is you're going to want to contact us page because you know what? You're going to want to be able to contact or have your clients contact you so that you can, uh, you can hopefully commission some work and make some money. So a website with a dead minimum of your About Me page, a portfolio to showcase your work, and a contact us page. And like I said, these are the bare bone minimums for your website. Now, perhaps you want uh, you want to own your own store and you want to sell your own items out of your store. Okay, a website that allows e-commerce is beneficial to you. There's no reason to pay somebody else a commission to host your goods. Creating your own store uh, alleviates this but there is a learning curve to learning how to do this, or you're going to have to come up with a good chunk of cash to pay somebody to build you a website and set all this up for you. Okay, now, if you want to undertake this uh, yourself, you've got two routes. You can go with either a free or a premium website. All right? What is the difference between a free or a premium website? Is there an advantage to one over the other? You're also going to need to choose a name. We're obviously the little, little wood shop. I could have done Steve's Engraving, Steve CNC, whatever the case is. Uh, in this case, for the article, we dreamt up a, a fictitious name. We're just going to call it John's Woodworking, okay? Now, when you go out and you get a free website, you can open up free websites through a lot of different places. Uh, you can use Wix, Weebly. Uh, let's see, WordPress is who I personally use. But what you have to remember is that a free website is also going to incorporate your host name. So if you're going through Wix, it would be uh, johnswoodworking forward slash wix.com or 
John's Woodworking forward slash WordPress.com. Okay, premium websites don't have the host name. You basically have paid for the domain name. You now own it. When you do purchase and you decide to go with a premium website, you also have to purchase what's known as hosting. The host is kind of the person who keeps your site active online. Okay, in my case, uh, my host is HostGator. I've had great well, luck with them over the last few years. That's who I choose. But I'm really not looking at getting this, uh, getting this blog this week into how to build any of this stuff because I'm not the authority on that, all right? I did build my own website, but it's only because I'm not budgeted to hire a, a designer to do it for me, okay? Now, with premium sites, you also have a lot more options and power with them. A lot of them are going to come with e-commerce built in. You're going to have better uh, SEO or search engine optimization, uh, social icons, all this stuff that you can add on to really tune in your website, to really get you to all the different locations that you want to be. All right? I would seriously, seriously recommend a premium website. I really would. All right, it's going to show a nice professional look to you, your shop, your products, and what it is you're looking to accomplish. All right, now a blog. Same thing. I think of business today, it is crucial that you have a blog, all right? Why would we, why would we even want one of these in the first place, okay? A blog creates a chronological event of your business through writing. Not to be confused with a website, okay, a blog you will continuously write to. Once your website's built, every now and then you may add a new product to it, or you may need to go in and tweak it, but once your website's built, for the most part it's built, it's done. You don't have to do anything with it afterwards. A blog is always going to be a work in progress. Blogging also creates another audience. I'm not a big reader, per se, all right, but there are a lot of individuals out there. There's a lot of ladies and gentlemen that do enjoy reading. I know my wife is a, she's a reading nut. She'd rather read than watch television. So, you're opening up another audience, another niche audience. They may love woodworking, but you know what, they may also enjoy reading. So, and it's also a way for you to tell a story. I mean, look at the blog that we've been doing up here for the last 15 months. We've done just about everything on anything. Now, what happens with your blog is just like with the YouTube video. With a blog, people get interested in you. They start to, they start to follow your blog every month, just like you guys do the videos. And the next thing you know, I try to create a good enough storyline that hopefully everybody's going to follow and like. And the next thing you know, you start converting your blog traffic into subscribers in other areas and potentially maybe even clients and people may come. I've had people I've never met commission work for me because of my blog. So I look at it that way. It's beneficial. And all these things coincidentally because they're business related or tax deductible, all right? Now your free or premium blog is going to be the same thing again. If you pay for a premium one, you're not going to have the extension, whether it's .wix, .weebly, .wordpress. I don't tell anybody what to do with their money. I wouldn't want anybody doing it with me. But it is extremely beneficial to go out and get premium things, okay? Because it gives you a very, very professional look, all right, in my opinion. Same thing again here. Free or premium email. Most of us have a Gmail account. God knows I've got a couple of them for personal things, but as far as this shop goes, steve at littlelittlewoodshop.com. I've got a dedicated email address, dedicated blog, dedicated website. Uh, the email for up here is less than five bucks a month. All right, now we're going to get into some of the things that we're going to plug into real quick. All right. One of the things we're going to get into here is, uh, is AdSense, Google Ads. So what is AdSense, how do I get it, where does it go, how does it work? Excuse me, these were all questions that I asked when I first started looking at Google AdSense, okay? AdSense is nothing more than an advertising service that is done through Google. 
offers or advertisements are placed from Google onto your website, your blog, or your video channel, or all. When somebody opts into the offer that's on your website, your blog, or your video, you get a commission. Something known as like a PPC, a pay-per-click. Now it's not a lot of money, mind you, okay? That's the first thing I'm going to tell you. I don't personally know of anybody getting rich off of AdSense, but what I will tell you, what we'll do is this. AdSense each month, either way we make these videos, we do a midweek shout-out, a dedicated Sunday evening blog, and a, and a few fill-in videos during the week. We post them, we monetize them through Google. Google and Google uh, AdSense, what they do is they look and they find advertisements that pertain to this website and this shop. You're not going to see me selling pogo sticks and umbrellas in a CNC wood engraving shop, okay? You're going to see advertisements that are in relation to what we do. Those individuals, I have no idea who they are. These are not affiliate links by any means. We'll get to those in a moment. Uh, but there are people that pay to advertise their goods or products or whatever on my website, my video streams, or my blog. And what I do is I get paid a commission each month. And what I, right now I think we're maybe up to about 50 bucks a month. Now mind you, no, it's not a lot of money. However, 50 a month times 12 months is 600 bucks. My website, my hosting, my domain, my blog, everything is paid for with AdSense. I now no longer have to come up with the money for that, okay? However, in order to have Google AdSense, all right, you also need a dedicated email address to install it, and I believe you have to have dedicated premium channels to put them on. But if you're going to go through the steps of getting a premium blog and a premium website, I can't stress enough, go out and sign up for AdSense and let them slap some ads on your, uh, on your videos, your website, and your blog, okay? Because it's just, it's money that's going to accrue each month. YouTube business. Now, we all know what YouTube is, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. No business, in my opin opinion, regardless of what it is, survives without content. To set up a YouTube business account, all you need is a Google account. The process is quick, simple, and it doesn't cost anything, folks. Really, it costs you nothing. The platform allows for off-site storage of videos that you make for your audience, which is all of you ladies and gentlemen. Okay, as your followers and subscribers grow, your content gets shared. This creates an even larger audience because I'm able to pull the analytics up every month from YouTube I can see how many shares, what's gone where, who shared what, and it's, it's a nice way to expand your business that much more. Now, YouTube, other than putting AdSense to it and monetizing your videos, are they really going to make you big piles of money? No. But what I do feel they do is they add good content to the blogging and the writing and what have you. It gives people a little bit more one-on-one -on -one with me so that you all get to see what we, we physically do up here. And, uh, you know, hopefully I get to convert more of you with video to subscribing and following our shop than just writing alone. Now, we had mentioned earlier about adding a store to your own website. Well, there is a possibility here that maybe you don't want to do that and perhaps you want to use a hosted store. Okay, what do you mean by hosted store or private one? Is there an advantage to one over the other? Are they difficult to set up and get operational? What are the costs associated with the online stores? All right, this was another very big question. First thing I can tell you, personally, if you're going to go through the trouble of setting up a website, attach an e-commerce store to it. If you go through WordPress, attach Word, uh, WooCommerce, whatever other platform you use, Make darn well sure that you at least have the option to add a store, your own e-commerce store, because it's your store, it's your property, all right? Right here, it says, I have to pay no merchant services for processing or payment, okay, yes. Here's the other thing you have to keep in mind, too. Let's say you decide you're going to use your own store, 
you've got a store attached to your website. The only thing you're going to get hit with is if you're selling your own products, you've got to figure in your shipping, and whatever the charge is going to be for your merchant service account, because you, you're obviously going to set yourself up through PayPal or another service to accept predatory payments, you're going to have to pay a surcharge even through your own store, so keep that one in mind. Now, let's skip over here to a hosted store. They are another, they are another option for you to think about. What do they cost? Are they difficult to set up and run? These are all about the same questions I think you would, you would answer on a private store as well. A hosted store is just that. Is it, a co it is a company that lists your goods for a monthly fee or a commission on each sale of an item. Perfect example, I used them for years, I don't have anything bad to say about them, but they just grew and grew and grew, was eBay. All right? eBay started out at a very small commission rate per sale. When you sold something, they got a piece of that pie. Well, now they get a bigger piece of that pie. And that's what a lot of these hosted stores are, okay? Um, the monthly cost is from a few dollars each month to hundreds, depending upon what you need. A basic plan, we'll say hypothetically, a basic plan allows you to put 50 to 100 items in their store. And that plan is going to cost you... $19.99 a month, all right? Well, all of a sudden, you grow and you decide, I need to be able to put up to 500 items a month in my store. Well, now your payment just went from $19.99 to $69.99 a month, and plus you now you're also, you know, the hits you say with maybe a, a small commission rate per sale of each item. Then they're going to turn around and they're going to hit you with a merchant service charge on their end for handling a payment through them. But then if it goes through your merchant services, there's a lot of hits. And you, you try to alleviate as many of them as possible or else you're going to need to figure this into your bottom line. We've got a list here below of some of the stores that I've used. My results have varied and I think it's mainly because of the products that I was carrying. So, I can't say hip hip hooray for any one or complete thumbs down for any one because your products may well exceed mine, okay? So I told you I used eBay. I used them for about 10 years. I made a good, I made a good hit of money off of eBay over 10 years. I've also used Etsy and Artfire. We've got a bunch of others here. iCraft Gifts, Bonanza, Folksy, Zibit. These are places I've never heard of. But they are, in fact, uh, a hosted store where you can go in, you can set up your own store, they handle all the hosting and all that on their end, but you, in fact, incorporate extra expenditures. So please, if you're going to use a hosted store, I would definitely read the fine print because you're going to get hit with charges and charges and charges and charges, okay? Social media platforms. Now, I know that uh, we can't attach AdSense or any of that to social media platforms, but these places allow you to explore and investigate niche topics like no other today. Each social media platform offers something a little different with a feel of its own. Okay, I compare these, uh, I compare the different platforms to automobiles, okay? Some people are Chevy, some people are Ford, some people are Dodge, okay? Same thing, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, Yahoo, and the rest of all the other craziness, okay? Everybody has their own specific favorite. I, unfortunately, have got to cater to at least six or eight of them so that I can make myself you know, look a little bit more favorable to people out there because, oh, well, he only associates himself with this social media platform or this one or two. Now, we associate ourselves with quite a few of them because that is, in fact, how some potential clients contact us are through the mail systems of some of these social media platforms. People from all ages, countries, and walks of life flock to social media. Uh, flock to social media like animals to a watering hole, seriously. Uh, these are places where photos, memories, and moments are captured and shared. Tie your endeavors into these platforms and build a list of followers, okay? 
each one of these platforms has terms and a policy to read and understand, so I would, I would suggest you do that. You don't want to do something that's prohibited and get banned. Make sure you know the rules of each social media platform so you don't get kicked out, okay? Affiliate marketing. All right, what is affiliate marketing? Is it for me? What's involved with it? Affiliate marketing is a company that is looking to team up with another to promote their products or services. All right. In return, the individual is paid a commission for those items that are sold on their website. Now, I told you, even up here, like right now, we're too busy with everybody else's stuff. I have no time whatsoever to mill for inventory for this shop to put in stock in a back room or in my basement or my house, whatever. I don't have the time. So what, what do I do? I end up filling a store with affiliate products, okay? There's no stocking of inventory, shipping of items, or paying taxes on inventory because you don't carry anything, okay? We carry products here that are not only ours, but other companies. I've looked into their reputation. I've gone through the different platforms online, scam reports, rip-off reports, the Better Business Bureau. I've gone through these and I've checked out these companies because I don't want to put a company attached to my business that has squirrely business practices because it's going to be a reflection. Excuse me, it's going to be a reflection up here. The one that I use is in the blog. I like them very much. Share a sale, S-H-A-R-E. A S A L E. We have a link right here on the blog. Uh, the reason I use them is because they pay me every month. When, when I sell, uh, you go in and once your account is all set up, you need to go through an approval process because, uh, much like hiring agencies, to me that's what share of sale is. They're the middleman. What they do is they make sure that the affiliates out there are protected as well as guys like me. I want to make sure again that I'm not doing business with a shady company and they want to make sure that the guy on the other end that's looking to represent them, he isn't shady either. So it's a good relationship I have. Uh, you can set them up. They'll either mail you a check or they'll direct deposit uh, your commissions directly into a bank account, okay? But share of sales, another good one. There's a bunch of affiliates out there. I would just recommend looking at them closely, okay? Miscellaneous ideas. We are about done. Consulting, okay? Maybe you know the ins and outs of your career field. You are a master of your trade. You answer to nobody, and everybody looks to you, all right? From technical to troubleshooting, repair to replacement, design to fabrication, your knowledge is worth a lot to somebody else. So by God, put a price tag on it. I don't deem that I'm that guy, so you're not going to see me running consulting anytime soon, but I will always work with any of you and give you whatever I have to try to help you out. You know that. All right? The other one, conducting a CNC course. Well, perhaps uh, like some of the Aspire courses that I see out there, perhaps again, not only can you consult, but by God, you're going to be one heck of a great teacher and you're going to set a classroom up somewhere. And whether you do it in a webinar online or you do it out of your own shop, well, setting up and conducting a CNC course is another option to make yourself some money, provided you're that person, okay? And last, last and least, promise, last and least, Write an ebook. Again, if you know enough to consult, if you know enough to uh, to do tutorials, well then by God, I would write a book on this, and I would look to publish and sell that that book uh, electronically, like any other ebook, and look to make a few bucks on it. Okay, so that uh, that is pretty much what I sum up thus far to be a winning recipe up here. Website, blog, professional email, premium website, premium blog, excuse me, premium email. Social media, you all know that it costs you nothing to go sign up to different social media groups. I don't have a favorite because unfortunately I have to dabble with all of them. Uh, 
After your social media platforms, definitely look at AdSense. Because if you've got a premium website, a premium blog, and a premium email, you may as well start making money on some of this stuff just by slapping ads on it. So look at getting yourself an AdSense account. We've also got an outbound link in here for that. Uh, as well as getting set up with some affiliates. There's nothing wrong with hosting other people's products in your shop. Just make sure that you do the background on them. Ripoff Report, ScamReport.com, Better Business Bureau, that's been around a long time. Do the research. If I read 500 good reviews and I read two bad ones, well, chances are there are just two people that can't be made happy. If I read 500 bad reviews and only two good ones, chances are I'm not going to get involved with that company. Common sense stuff, folks, okay? Well, I won't keep you. This has been a little long, I'm sure. Uh, we'll see you Wednesday for the midweek shout-out. It is crazy up here right now. I can't wait for St. Nick to come and go, and I can get back to my life a little bit, uh, little bit more normally, okay? Well, as always, folks, thank you so much for your, uh, for your subscribing. Thank you to my followers. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. And I promise, if I make it through the month, January, we're going to have some nice, uh, we're going to have some nice free projects coming up again. So again, please bear with me. But again, thank you as always. We appreciate each and every one of you. So everyone have a good week. Be safe, be careful, and get home to you and yours, okay? All right, we'll see you Wednesday for the midweek shout out. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.